here? Jess Myers. Jess Myers, USA Hockey Magazine. Dom, the delay because of the injury seemed to ignite your team or, or switch the momentum. What was, what was the talk during that timeout and what changed from that point on? Just keep pushing. Um, I mean, the talk in the locker room was go out there and have our best period and give ourselves a chance. Um, can be proud of the guys. They battled and gave it their all. Additional questions for the student athletes? Move on Jess in front. Avery, it seemed like uh, Denver made quite a push in that first maybe five, six minutes. The shot were, shots were eight nothing at that point. What was it? What was that time like and, and kind of surviving that moment? I mean, how key was that in kind of staying in the game? Uh, yeah, we knew that uh, in their past four or five games, they've come out strong in the first five or ten minutes. So we knew we had to kind of shut that down and got to give it to them. They, they did work us pretty good. And they, they uh, definitely, the ice was tilted their way, but Miska kept us in there and gave us a chance. And yeah, our, our first goal there was to shut down that first ten minutes of the period. Take one in the center right. Uh, Austin Rush, uh, UMD statesman. Carson, I mean, you, you guys show the resiliency like you have all year in the third period. I mean, even though being down 3-1, how were you able to just keep that mentality going? Yeah, I think uh, I think you said it. Uh, we've been resilient all year. Um, we've came back multiple times throughout the season, and um, obviously in regionals there, we, we fought to come back uh, just to get to this point. So. I think uh, I think we had a lot of belief in our team. I mean, nobody doubted for a second that we couldn't come back and uh, and tie that game up and eventually win it. So, I think uh, I think we just learn learn lessons throughout the year and and uh, it almost paid off there. Take one in the second row on the left. Candice Morgan, U.S. College Hockey Online. Uh, Dom, can you talk about your PK and, and the way you were able to really neutralize Denver's top line on the penalty kill? It seemed you had some struggles with the PK at times during the year, and you were really solid on it tonight. Yeah, um, I mean, uh, we wanted to be aggressive. Um, they uh, they were making some good plays on teams that, that weren't very aggressive, so um, the mindset was getting shot lanes and be aggressive. Okay. Additional questions for the student athletes? All right, we'll take one in the back. Hi, uh, Tom Hanson, KDL Radio, Carson. Talk about this senior class. and I, I know a lot's been made out of it, but uh, now that it is over, your thoughts, Carson, on, on what they did and what they did for your program, and especially this year? Yeah, really unbelievable. Uh, special group of guys, top to bottom there. Um, obviously, it starts with, with Dom, our, our captain, our leader. Um, trickles down, you got, you got character guys. Um, it's been great, great for our younger guys to, to see to see how, how to play, how to how to manage um, games. Um, I think uh, I think a lot can be learned from that senior class. Obviously, the three years that I was with them was uh, was special, and I'll, uh, I love those guys to death. Additional questions. All right, guys. Thank you very much. We'll take questions from Scott San for Scott Sandlin right now. We'll start in front of Jim Conley. <clears throat> Thank you, Scott. Uh, Jim Conley from mm -hmm. US College Hockey Online. Without disrespecting Denver, did you feel that your team did what they needed to do to win a game time? It felt like, especially that third period, you had the opportunities. Yeah, we did. Uh, you know, uh, about a five minute stretch, it seemed like it, that was the game, really early with the three goals. And I don't even know the amount of time, but. You know, again, our team's been behind, and you know, again, you're playing. <laughs> you get 20 minutes to try and win a hockey game, and I thought our guys went out there and played as well as they could. The, the, the effort, uh, you saw the, the period. I mean, you know, we went after it, and sometimes maybe a little little luck. Maybe we ran out of puck luck against Harvard. I don't know, but you know, we did what we had to do, and couldn't be more proud of our guys to to battle right to the end. It's it's pretty much been their character all year. They they're a great group of kids, and they never quit. They got a strong will, and um, we just came up a little short. 
Jess. Scott, obviously you never want to see injuries, but it seemed like after that delay, mm -hmm. the momentum really switched. Did you <clears throat> use that like a timeout and, and you know, come up with a new plan at that point, or what changed then at that point? No, I don't think the, the plan changed. I mean, obviously we talked between periods what we wanted to try and do, and um, maybe it took a little bit of sting out of them. You know, I mean, anytime you see a, a teammate go down, um, you know, nobody wants to see anybody get hurt, and I hope he's – all right, I don't know, but uh, you know, our, our mentality was to just kind of stay after it and have a good shift after that, and I thought we did, and we and we just kept building off that. But uh, uh, you know, it was a little bit of a rest for our guys, but it, it didn't really change what we were trying to do. I think we had started the period a little bit, you know, that way, but um, had some shifts after that and just kind of tried to throw everything at them, but just couldn't quite find the equalizer. <laughs> Yeah, take one in the front left. Scott Adam Rittenberg mm -hmm. with ESPN.com. Once you guys got it to 3 2, what was the mindset on the bench, on the ice, given your success in, mm -hmm. in those closer games? That we could come back and tie the game and maybe win the hockey game. Um, certainly, you know, those are, those, are, those are good situations, probably when you're, you know, when you're, you get that goal. I mean, you need some spark, and, and obviously our guys uh, got that spark, and, you know, I, I I mean, you guys saw the third period. I mean, they did a pretty good job of having spending a lot of time in their offensive zone, and um, just need to be, you know, maybe a little harder on pucks and a little stronger on the net. But uh, I'm not. I I can't say anything. I, you know, our guys were awesome in the third, and we we gave ourselves a chance to to get back in the game, and we just came up one goal short. Candace. Scott, Candace Hogan, U.S. College Hockey mm -hmm. Online. Can you talk about Troy Terry's play against your team? He had three points against you back in December, and, and he was a big player again tonight, and he had, he had trouble neutralizing. He's had a time. pretty good year. <laughs> well, he's a hell of a player. I mean, you know, I mean, you saw the play. I mean, makes a great, you know. Um, you know, I mean, I think, obviously, when we played him in December, I mean, he stepped up and, you know, was was big-time player for them. You know, Borkstrom was out, and... You know, but it's kind of their team too. They've had that all year. I think they've had different guys step up, and and that's why they they had the year they did. You know, they uh, they're a great hockey team, and you know he's just a a really talented player that's uh, certainly can score goals. Far right over here, Jess. Scott Denver started fast in a lot of their games this year. Mm -hmm. In the first six minutes, I think the shots were eight nothing, <laughs> and and they seem to control things. Mm -hmm. How important was surviving that stretch, and did you, you know, have to kind of uh, rally guys, or did you consider a timeout at that point or anything? Uh, no, I, you know, I mean, we knew they were, you know, if you look at whatever their last, certainly the, the, the NCAA tournament games, uh, they've had great starts, and we knew that. And our guys, I thought, looked a little tentative, a little nervous, you know. Um, you know, some of those shots, they were putting pucks in from the neutral zone onto Hunter, and, you know, so some of those shots weren't necessarily dangerous, but, you know, they were coming, you know, and, and that's how they play. Um, you know, you got you to take care of the puck, and, you know, if you make soft plays, they're going the other way with it in a hurry, and, and they were doing that early, and um, I thought we, I thought a key for us tonight was trying to to get out of our zone clean, so, um, because they do such a good job of, uh, of getting above you and pressuring, um, and I thought we had opportunities to do that early, and, and we didn't really do a very good job. I thought we made some, we were hesitant, and, you know, instead of just getting the puck out of the zone, we tried to make plays, and they were soft plays, and they contested it with sticks, and next thing you know, it's staying in the zone, and now you're playing defense, and that wasn't the plan. The plan was to to, sp to spend as little time in our, our D zone as possible, like starting with, you know, breakouts and, and, and transition and clean, clean transitions out of our zone. Take one over here on the right. Uh, Chris Lynch, <clears throat> uh, Chris Lynch with Inside Hockey. Mm -hmm. Coach, can you talk about the way Hunter performed um, in in this game, especially with that early onslaught that he withstood, and especially being a freshman in the national championship game? Uh, pretty much like he's done all year. Um, you know what, he's grown. He's grown through the year. He's obviously had an outstanding freshman year for us. Big reason why we were playing today. Um, but he was ready. Um, like I said, he's <laughs> he's been that way. So it's probably one position I don't worry about too much. Um, 
you know, with just his consistency level and just his focus level. And, you know, it was probably a good thing because he had to make two or three big saves for us early. And, you know, probably good for him, too, to get those under his belt as well. Um, it probably helped him. So um, it was pretty much the norm, uh, how he's played all year.